Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about definitions that start with the letter R. And our first one is record. A record is one row of data in your database. It can consist of two or more fields, usually much more than two. For instance, a student record could consist of the student's ID number, their first name, last name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number, and emergency contact. Let's take a quick look at our table employees. And you can see this row here is a record. And in this example, each record is one of our employees and their related information. And so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields related to each employee record. Our next definition is closely related to that. It's record selector. A record selector is the little gray box to the left of a record in a table. To select an entire record, click the record selector to its left on that row. So again, in our employees table, this little gray box here is the record selector. And you can see my arrow changes when it's over here. It's a cursor plus, and then it becomes an arrow. And if I click that, we'll select the whole record. And once you select one of the records, you can either right click and do a new record, insert it, delete the record, cut, copy, paste, or change the row height. You can also just select on it and hit the delete key to delete it. Okay, that's a record selector. Our next definition is record set. A record set is the result of a query. A record set often looks like data in a table, but it isn't actually stored in the query. It only exists in the computer's memory. So if we go to one of our queries and open it, the first name, the last name, the phone number, and the city is all part of the record set in this query. But this information isn't actually being stored in this query in the database. It's still being stored in our employees table, but it's displaying this record set based on our query. And the reason that's important is because of the amount of storage that this would take up if it were also being stored here. Okay, so that's a record set. Our next definition is referential integrity. Referential integrity is how Access makes sure that relationships between records in related tables are valid. It also helps prevent you from accidentally deleting or changing data that is related. So if we go to our database tools and our relationships, if we click on this relationship between our primary key in the office table and our foreign key, and we double click on it, you can see that we've selected the box to enforce referential integrity. And that ensures that these two fields in these two tables will maintain a valid relationship. Okay, so that's referential integrity. Our next definition is rows. Rows are the horizontal divisions of a table each row contains a separate record. And we already know what this looks like. Um, this, remember our record selector here, when I select on this record, it's also selecting this row. Normally you'll use the word record, but the word row is kind of interchangeable. Okay, and then finally for the R's, we have rulers. Rulers are horizontal and vertical bands along the left side and top of the form or report in design view. They show your current position within the document. And this only applies to forms and reports. So we'll go to design view for a form. So up here along the top you can see one ruler and you can use the ruler to determine the width of your form and see if I drag this I can go to six inches, seven inches, back down to five inches, etc. Or you can click on the ruler to select everything within that vertical or horizontal line. Okay, so those are very useful. And that's it for the R's. We looked at records, the little gray box, which is a record selector, a record set, which is your results from a query, referential integrity when dealing with relationships, rows, which is just another word for record, and rulers.